So they've got little Ovaltine waffles. Yes. Added the crispy seaweed toppings. You can also make a hot dog over here, guys, for 9 RMB. So basically, you can get the whole set of this for 19.9. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Denison. I'm Vishinka. What are we doing today, baby? So we thought to show you guys what a 7-Eleven is like here in China. As you guys know, like 7-Elevens change according to the country. So sit back, relax, and hope you guys enjoy this vlog. So I don't know how many of you guys know this, but Ovaltine is quite of a famous brand. It's like uh, Milo, yeah. but like a different brand. So they've got little Ovaltine waffles for six fifty. Oh my god, it's, it's a, a watermelon bun. Most of the 7-Elevens here, they serve you noodles. Meatballs, fish balls and all that sort. So take a look. Ooh, so we've got like those meatballs, we've got them on sticks. Fish dumplings. If you want 6 pieces, it's 7 RMB. And if you want 10 pieces, it's 9 RMB. Fish balls over here for the same price. Beef ball guys for 450. They also have a lot of different hot options. Make a hot dog over here guys for 9 RMB. And then you get satay 6. Per stick, yeah. it's 750. And then they also have some like sweet and sour chicken guys. That looks very very nice. Also 750 guys. They're kept quite fresh okay. and hot. So this is like a meal option guys. So basically, you can get the whole set of this for 19.9. A noodle yeah. Plus, you can choose one of these items. Yeah. Plus, with one of these soups, nice. okay, and a drink. And, and then, then for, for an additional <laughs> two RMB, you can get some cabbage or, or a banana. banana. <laughs> I mean, interesting. That's but, very nice, yeah? <laughs> yeah. And then they also have another option, so guys. Yeah, this is seventeen point nine. Again, you choose and choose, and then you have for fifteen point nine and thirteen point nine. I think this is quite good news. Yes. You have your coffee option and then also famous here guys soya milk you can just oh, yeah. buy soya milk i'm a big fan of soya milk the one good thing i love about here is the sandwich and their ready meal you can heat up and take they've got different sandwiches here and again 7-elevens here have that like meal option and also they have like these croissants look at this loaded croissants guys Look at this guys, pork belly on rice. Oh my god. A got lemon cheese tart. Oh wow, for 9 guys. And it's new, mm, new oh, item. It's a new item, nice. And also guys, 7-Elevens in China sell alcohol as well. Oh my god guys, I think this is the first time I'm seeing Milo here so 9 RMB 50 cents. And I think if you buy two, the second one is half price, isn't it baby? Yeah, that's right. Wow. Alright guys, so we got some food from 7-Eleven to show you what it's like. So firstly, we got some sweet chili rice cake. Or Ooh. it's actually a Korean dish guys called Tokboke. Okay. okay. I'm not sure if I'm saying it correctly. But Looks so good and smells so good. I know. And it also comes with some crispy seaweed topping which we'll add to it later. Yeah. And we also got one of those nice hot meals. Pork belly Oof. with rice. That looks so good guys. At 7-Eleven guys, the employees will actually heat up the food for you. You don't have to do it yourself so you just give it to them and they'll heat it up for you. And then we also got ourselves a hot dog guys and they gave us some tomato, so ketchup and mustard. So we'll put that on here. And we also got guys this sushi, rice, egg, some vegetable, maybe spam. And with that, we got a orange juice as well. And it came up to, I think, 12.8 for the two of them together. Alright guys, can you see this? I've added the crispy seaweed topping. So it's actually with a little bit of sesame seeds and some seaweed as well. Alright. This is giving me all the feels. I just wish I was in front of like a, like my laptop with my Korean dramas going. This is so nice, like the sweet and salt flavor is so good. And the texture of this rice cake is really good. And contrasting with the crispy seaweed, it's so good. There's some good pieces of pork guys, like really yeah, really like big exactly. chunks of pork meat. Mm. That's so nice. Let's go for the rice. That's yeah? very very good guys. 
Do they even have some like pickled, uh, I don't know, like lettuce? Tastes very, very nice, guys. It's sort of like a, a bit curry flavor, but not too curry flavor, but then a bit of like the Chinese soy sauce kind of flavor as well. It's not spicy at all. It's definitely more on the sweeter side, but it's very nice, guys. It's very flavorful. Like you, uh, I wouldn't expect like such flavors to come out of like 7-Eleven, you know, <laughs> from the fridge especially, but I really like this one, guys. Very, very good. All right, guys, next up, we're gonna try the hot dog. But before we try the hot dog, we have to put the condiments on the hot dog, you know? Uh, starting off with the classic condiment, Mr. Tomato Ketchup here. <laughs> oh, there's actually a lot of ketchup in yeah, this, guys. I didn't expect it to be this much. And now time for the mustard salad dressing, guys. Oh my God. Are you getting this? Not yet. <laughs> oh, it's a mustard mayo. Mustard mayo? It's like a mixture of oh, mayo and mustard, okay. basically. Interesting. Alright, let me go for this. Guys, the bun is very, very soft, by the way, because I'm holding it. The bun yeah. is actually very, very soft, guys. It's not dry, because a lot of hot dog buns, guys, usually they get to be very dry. I, I'd rather have it more soft. So let's go for this one and see how it is. That's another surprise for you. <gasps> it's cheese <gasps> stuff. Oh my god, it's cheese. Guys, this is too good. Oh wow. It's actually cheese stuff. Oh my god, guys. A healthy amount of cheese yeah. stuff as well. It's very nice, baby. The hot dog is yes. nice and fresh. Thick piece of hot dog, guys. Yeah. A must try. I highly recommend this one. Alright, guys, so we couldn't resist. We had to try one of these saute sticks out. And can you see, look at this guys, it's beautifully coated wow. with that sweet chili sauce and it looks crispy and he heated it up for us as well, so... What meat is it baby? Chicken. Chicken. I Go. hope it's chicken. <laughs> I think it's chicken. We'll find out. Oh my god, that's so good. What is it? It's chicken. It's chicken, yeah. nice. Sweet and sour yeah. chicken, Sweet basically. Sweet and sour chicken, guys, on a stick. Like, it's so good. Is it fresh? Mm, it's really fresh. Mm -hmm. huh? mm. Alright, guys, next up, we're gonna try out this sushi. Let's see how it is. Ooh. That's a big piece of sushi, guys. It's not a sushi roll, it's like yeah. a sushi sandwich. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, but looks so good, guys. Ooh, that looks good. It's very yeah. nice, baby. Yeah. So I, yeah, like Dushinka said, I think that is like a nice piece of spam, spam guys. Yeah. And there's an omelet. Yeah. There's an omelet in the middle. Yeah. With a healthy amount of rice, and there's a bit of like a chili sauce mm, on as this well on, uh, inside. And the seaweed is all intact and good. How is it? You can never go wrong with sushi. I think. Yeah. Really like. So good, guys. There's actually a lot of sauce. Okay, that's nice. You can see. However, the picture shows though that there's some veggie. That there's cucumber. Yeah, yeah. But the sushi. Oh no, there is there. Oh, there is. <laughs> I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, there is cucumber. Ah, oh, there's guys. cucumber. Yeah. It's very nice, guys. Yeah, yeah. I think this is really worth it. Yeah. Definitely worth it, guys. So as always, we can't end this without some sweets. We have a huge variety of ice cream, guys, starting from. Hagen does to Eminem ice cream to Dove ice cream to Magnums and then they also have the local ones, the local ones over here. Uh, you can see all the different prizes for the different ice creams guys. Uh, I would say this one is actually one of my most favorite ones guys. It's only 11 now and been 80 cents. Uh, but unfortunately, they don't have any of those today. But what caught my eye are these ones. Check this out, guys. So these are like conettos, but like coconut. Coconut flavored ice cream conetto. Got a little doggy on this as well. And this one is how much, baby? Um, the conetto coconata. But it doesn't. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. It's only 5 RMB 50 cents. Well, and guys, this guy is having what is this? It is a lemon. It's a lemon. It is summer lemon. Ah, nice. How much I, is this one? This. It says right oh, there. Oh, right there, right? Uh, 9.90. Nine. A little lemon on a stick. How cute. Mm. That's really nice, guys. The, con the outside has a lemon flavor, 
inside is vanilla ice cream, so it's not too sour or anything. It's a nice, sweet, sour, beautiful. How's the ice cream? I love anything coconut. Yeah. And especially with ice cream, this is such nice coconut. A rich flavor of coconut. Why are you holding it like that, Mr. <laughs> so I open this, you know, in full joy, but then. Oh no! <laughs> it was cracked already. Oh no. <laughs> and the chocolate parts there. But it's okay. Yeah, but I'm just so be happy. careful, like the ice cream doesn't drip. Yeah, that's why I'm like putting it underneath. Yeah. Too. It's okay. Life happens. <laughs> also guys, so 7-Eleven here in China has started off self-service stations. So basically you just have it here and you scan your stuff and you can pay and get going. Alright guys, so We've had a very fulfilling, filling, filling <laughs> meal at 7 Eleven, and I thought that was very, very I know. good. Especially for the price point, guys, because I would say 7 Elevens here are much more affordable in comparison like to what the 7 Elevens in Australia, you know? Exactly, because, guys, everything we just spent, including the food and even the desserts, I think comes up to around uh, 60. 70 RMB? Yeah. 70 RMB, which is like what, $15? $15, guys. For all that food, guys, with the drinks included. Exactly. That's insane. Because in Austria, even sandwich is like what, $5 over there. Exactly, so, yeah. Like, so I think it's very, very good day in China, guys. I would say, like, we haven't, I mean, we haven't done videos on other 7 Elevens in the world, mm -hmm. but I think this is, I mean, technically, this is our first one, no? Yeah. And right now, I think China is definitely number one. Oh, yeah, number uh, one. Number one, because I feel like it's one of the best 7 Elevens around the world. Price so, point, selection wise, I mean. And the taste in food, like yeah, the food, exactly. the taste food. of it? Yeah. So good. So good. So, yeah, if you come to China, guys, definitely visit a 7 Eleven and try out their stuff because I don't know if it's the best. But it's definitely one of the best exactly. 7-Elevens around the world. Because when and you're stuff. on the go, guys, having this kind of food is going to be so easy, so for, easy you. for you. guys. Exactly. Yeah. Alright guys, so that comes to the end of today's vlog and we really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please like, share and subscribe to our channel, guys. And until next time, guys. Bye.